Good evening, I'm Anand Narsuman. The big story, the big development, it's a matter of shame for the country. IOA Secretary General Rajiv Mehta and wrestling ref Evrinder Malik have been arrested in Glasgow on Saturday night on two separate incidents, two separate charges. The Scotland Police have confirmed the arrest and both officials will be produced at the local sheriff court on Monday. Meanwhile, the IOA has sought a report on the incident and that... Uh, and I've also said that the wrestling referee, Virendra Malik, is not part of the contingent, clearly wanting to distance themselves from what is actually a far more serious charge because Virendra Malik has been charged uh, with an alleged sexual assault uh, on the west side of Glasgow in a hotel. Rajiv Mehta, the man on your frames right now, he's the Secretary General of the Indian Olympic Association. He's been charged with assault. Uh, the report suggests that he was uh, driving without a valid license and also uh, under in an inebriated state, clearly far more than the permissible levels of alcohol levels. And uh, he also did get into an altercation with some of the officials. So did he assault an officer on duty, get uh, involved? Those details still not forthcoming. Scotland officials are uh, very tight-lipped about the details, but they have confirmed that 49-year-old Rajiv Mehta has been arrested. They've not named him, but they've said that he's a 49-year-old Indian male, he's an official and the other one, Virendra Malik, a 45-year-old and that's the reports. Uh, let's take a listen to what the Scotland Police spokesperson told Times Now. On Saturday, 2nd August, a 49-year-old male was arrested following the report of an alleged assault in the city centre of Glasgow and another incident Again, on Saturday, 2nd of August, a 45-year-old man was arrested following the report of an alleged assault in the west of the city. It's expected that both men will appear in Glasgow Sheriff Court tomorrow, Monday, the 4th of August. Yes, yeah, so it's still very early stages at the moment. Uh, Police Scotland are just saying that a 49-year-old was arrested in the city centre last night and in a separate incident, a 45-year-old was arrested in the west of the city. As I say, it's very early stages, so not a lot of information at the moment. Uh, yes, Susan, as a routine uh, process, what usually happens in such cases of uh, uh, assault or drunken driving, as apparently in this case, uh, what happens? Is a person arrested and taken to police custody and then presented before the court? What is the system that is followed in, uh, in, in Scotland? Yeah, so at the moment, um, it's obviously still reports of, of an alleged assault, so um, there's no, no sort of clear evidence at the moment. And the uh, police have confirmed they'll be appearing at Glasgow Sheriff Court tomorrow. Well, I think we are going to be living in a fool's paradise to expect any action uh, from uh, the powers that be. Uh, action, if at all, had to be taken, had to be taken many years back. Uh, at least in 2010, post the Commonwealth fiasco, the large-scale corruption and huge amount of embezzlement of public money, uh, not a single head has rolled. Uh, it is only fights of, uh, you know, very, very uh, rare fights that, uh, you know, some, some of the people are fighting in the courts, including me, uh, that uh, a few of these changes have happened. Uh, these are people who, have, who are parasites. Uh, they have eaten into the vitals of Indian sports. Uh, they have absolutely nothing to do with sports sports persons or sportsman spirit or sportsmanship. All they need to know is how to eat into the vitals. And unless and until you actually throw these people, pick them and throw them out because they understand no other language, you need to pick them and throw them out of the system. And the system is so corrupt. The system is so corroded. The system is so, so faulty that uh, who is going to do that? Uh, one thought that Mr. Narendra Modi with the kind of hope that one has, at least he will tell his sports minister what what is going on uh, within the uh, paradigm of sports? You know these are like uh, uh, Swami very rightly said these are our uh, uh, ambassadors out there. And I I uh, you know my my head is held high when all the athletes, despite the system, perform the way they do uh, because the system hasn't really helped them. It's uh, it's uh, put spokes in the in the wheels uh, all the way. And it's only these personal grit and personal stories of uh, heroism uh, which has made them what has made them. It's not the system. But at the same time, the very same people who abuse the system are the ones who, uh, on whose mercy we are left. And they are the, imagine the Honorable Sports Minister almost had decided that uh, with the help of these administrators who were really wanting to go for it, to have the Asian Games, the next Asian Games being, being bid by India. 